So I parked up uh, in Derbyshire uh, for the night. Just chasing shadows up in the corner there. It's uh, eerily foggy this morning and slept really heavy. As you can see it's uh, very muddy. Just take a look down through this uh, this woodland where we've just been. There's the squirrel there. You can make him out, he's just hopping towards us. The woodland, the, the mist has lifted a little as daylight has come, but uh, spooky, quite eerie this morning. Just a bit uh, slippy underfoot. Ah, <sighs> so I've uh, ventured up to see Mary and my mother. I haven't seen her in uh, five and a bit months, I think it is. Um, she's uh, in the vulnerable bracket, as we uh, say. Social distancing applied. Um, I think the UK or England now they have a bubble, so the bubble has been extended to incorporate me. So we've got us some essential supplies and whatnot, as well as uh, you know I'll be working over Christmas. So the government have kindly gifted people the amnesty as my week commences, and then finish just as my week ends. So there's no way I'd be able to make the uh, the 500 mile round trip to uh, to come and see her over Christmas. So it's uh, it's a good thought process by the government, but they haven't really taken into account the fact that the people who keep the country going over the uh, festive period work uh, a longer period than the five or six days amnesty that they've given. And uh, I think because they probably have it off over, over Christmas that everybody else does, but there's a lot of people, army, you know, RAF, navy, people who work in utilities, you know, people who work for the emergency services. They all they're all going to be grafting over the Christmas period, keeping us all safe and providing us all with what we need. And uh, and the government's been a bit short-sighted in that that decision to make it yeah, only five days. They could have made it two or three, and then two or three a bit of an earlier time when you know, Christmas is celebrated at different times. But that's such is life. But for now, I'm not going to let that bother me. I'm in Derbyshire. Boys have been walked this morning. We had a good uh, chase through the woods. And uh, she's going to go back now and get some breakfast, get the kettle on, a nice coffee on the go. I was trying to previously film some birds on a bird feeder, so I don't know whether you could actually make them out or not. But, uh, just behind the van, there's uh, a few feeding stations. And uh, you're getting a good variety of uh, birds. There was a woodpecker there, but I just missed it as it took off. And you can't actually see it, but he's actually... It's too foggy to see. He's perched on top of this tree and he's just flown into this tree here. It's a bit disappointing. If it was a bit brighter, you'd probably be able to see his fleck. But there's hundreds of birds. It's nice to see. Here he is. There he is up there. You can make him out. Oh no, that's Mr. Blackbird. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there, there, there. There he is. So yes, get some breakfast and a coffee. And then uh, you'll see me again.
Find it, Mom. Go on, son. Good boy, Mom. Mom. Good boy. Hey. Thank you. Stan, leave. Find it then, Stan. Find it. Find it, boy. Come on in. Find it, Mal. Find it. Good boy, Stan. Hey, hey. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. What's this, Mal? It's been a good day. It's been uh, a bit of a damp one. Been out down walking through the kitchen woods, down uh, towards uh, Holmesfield. So I'm just going to go now and uh, get a nice Chinese tea. It's treat night tonight. So I think with all the walking, it's uh, well deserved. Not that you can see me. Quite dark. But, uh, some lovely decorations. In this tree here. Someone spent a bit of time on that. Might get those for the inside of the van. I'm ravenous as well. Boys have had a really good uh, walk today. They've uh, absolutely shattered. They've uh, not stopped, so I've just disturbed them, tipped them out for a quick toilet visit. You see, it's cold now. Those not. God, it's fresh. Oh. It's weird. None of the uh, none of the pubs been open. So I walked up to my uh, my friend who's got the Rutland today, and uh, they're going to be closed until January. And this is the jolly. That's uh, it's usually thronged on a thronged on a Friday and Saturday. This lovely food as well. Pub grub. 
again must be feeling the impact of coronavirus I'm heading down towards the uh, Chinese in the corner we do a lovely uh, lovely takeaway anyway all right just gonna get stuck in Food is on board. I've got food, I'm starving. I decided to make it so I have a, a week or 10 day treat on my diet. So uh, Chinese it is tonight. It's quite sad coming past this pub. I spent many a day in there. And they must be feeling Ash and Carl. The landlords. It's got to be impacting. You know, they'd be turning over. Hell of a lot of food. Christmas dues. You know, and beer. Usually, uh, I think it's full to the rafters normally. Sadly. The doors are shut. If you're in London, you should be counting your chickens because uh, I think your time is going to be coming soon probably as is Wales right I'm going to tuck into this food see you in a bit